Okay, I'm going to show you how to finish um, your weaving. Um, so how to make your cord blend into your basket. Um, you want to make sure that you're stopping while you still have a little bit of cord because we need to make a cut. And you also want to make sure that you have plenty of yarn left. Um, so for example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to cut this so that it gradually will end with my basket. So you can see it's a very long diagonal. So for the first part, I'm just going to continue on like I did before. So remember you hold it and you weave. I think mine was about every five that I was doing with this basket. So I wrap it five times. I need an anchor stitch. So I go ahead and I anchor it. And then I wrap it a few more times to Okay, so now I'm getting to the diagonal. When you hit the long diagonal of your piece of cord, you're going to switch to all anchors. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to anchor and anchor and I just keep repeating that. And if you're finding that you're seeing some gaps, just go over them as you're anchor stitching. So if you're seeing the white show through any, just add another anchor over that spot. And we're going to do this, oops, it came off my needle, if that happens, just add it back on. And I'm working to cover all of that last part of my cord. Now I don't want to have a loose string just hanging out. So I've now covered all of my cord, but I need to knot my string. So it's all attached there. So what I'm going to do is I can either run it through those anchor stitches or go back to one of my last anchor stitches. So I like this one here. I can get my needle through it a little bit better. I'm going to bring the cord through and then I'm going to use this loop and bring my needle through. And actually that's pulling so I'm not going to do that one. So if you find that's wrong, just undo it. So that one pulled too much so I'm going to choose a different anchor point. Okay, so I just finished anchoring my cord. So now I'm going to pick one of my anchors to loop through. So I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to send my needle through it. And what that does is it creates this loop. And then I'm going to send my needle through the loop. I'm going to pull down and that starts the knot. And I'm going to repeat the process one more time to double knot it. So I pull it through. I've got my loop. I send my needle through that loop and I pull the loop tight and there I now have my knot and then I'm going to trim my tail so I don't want to trim it too close to the knot I'm going to trim it just a little bit out from there so that way my knot doesn't come undone and there you have your finished basket now remember make sure to put your name and hour on a piece of masking tape on the bottom Put it in your plastic bag with your needle and then turn it into the correct location.